Hi, I'm John Gann, Director of Software Development at Chesapeake Technology. Welcome to the next installment of the SonarWiz Did You Know series. I was on a training trip through Australia and Asia last week, and one of the sub-bottom features that users told me they really liked is something called SBP Datum Align. You may know that SonarWiz includes a complete set of sub-bottom processing functions, but did you know that if you have a multi-beam bathymetry surface in the same location as your sub-bottom profiles, that you can use that surface to vertically correct any errors in your SBP profiles? Let's look at an example. I've loaded a shallow survey collected with the NMR parametric profiler and a multi-beam bathymetry surface collected with an R2 Sonic. The files appear fine in the SonarWiz profile viewer. If we take a closer look at the profiles in the interactive 3D viewer, we can see that there's a problem. The cross lines don't match up exactly with the main lines. Perhaps these lines were taken at a different time, or there was a tide change. We don't know exactly what happened. If we load the bathymetry grid into the scene, we notice that there's about a 10 meter offset between the grid surface and the seabed picked within SonarWiz. It's pretty obvious that the two sonars were using a different vertical datum. So how do we fix this? Luckily, we can use the SonarWiz SBP datum align function to correct the SBP files. The SBP datum align function generates a ping by ping correction by comparing the seabed pick in the sub bottom profile to the bathymetry grid's depth at the same location. This correction is used to shift each ping up or down so it perfectly matches the bathymetry surface. Let's see how the files look now. First, we'll re-export the corrected files to the SonarWiz 3D viewer. If we zoom in on the intersections, we can see that the alignment from line to line is now flawless. It's no surprise, really, the bathymetric surface was used as the depth reference to which each ping was shifted. If we now load the bathymetry grid into the 3D scene, we can see that not only do the profiles align with each other, but they also align with the bathymetry surface too. In summary, the SBP datum align function can save you lots of time trying to correct for missed ties in your SBP profiles caused by tide or draft changes during the course of your survey. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, follow our YouTube channel to see more feature spotlights like this one. Join our next training session in Charleston, South Carolina this December. You can learn more about that session at ChesapeakeDeck.com or leave a comment below and we'll reach out.